And one of those cool things that we host is Nextcloud, as we've been going over for the past couple of, of weeks here. This one is taking this Nextcloud show on the road. And by that, I mean... I love that. Not... I absolutely love that. Yeah. That's that's such a good title. But yeah, you, sorry to cut you off there, but yeah. yeah <laughs> no, it's yeah, fine. It's fine. Good. It's It was... Uh... Yeah, and, and, and what I mean by that is taking it mobile, right? And and by mobile, I mean anything that's going to be not a computer sitting in front of you. So basically your Androids, right, oh, your no. your iPhones, uh, what whatever you use, that's, that's not going to be your computer because that's still important, turns out. Uh, and and this really I, I wanted to get to because I think it was uh, two or three instances. I know... Jack, you were talking about your dad lost his, his, his contacts on his phone if you if you wanted to rehash that and we can kind of jump in from there. Yeah, it was um shoot, I forget. I think he was either getting a new phone or he was doing a major upgrade on his phone, and something happened where he lost all the photos, every single photo he had taken on his phone. So he lost photos and contacts. Yeah, I, I'm thinking of two separate. I'm thinking of two separate instances here. He's okay. The guy has lost <laughs> both. <laughs> let me let me go back here. He okay. So I'm thinking of the photos instance where he accidentally deleted like a shared drive or something that he had, and then sure enough, wiped wiped it like wiped it from NFS. And he's just like, oh crap. And he's like, wait, I think I have backup somewhere. And sure enough, some like there you go. Lo and there behold, it was. Like they're like some third party providers, like, oh yeah, we have that data here. And he's just like, um, can I get that back? I didn't even know you had it. <laughs> but um the phone situation was he was upgrading his phone, he was switching to a major version release, and essentially what happened was when he switched, he added a new I think it was Caldav or Con. You can in the iPhone, I think you can add a new mailbox, essentially is what it is. Well, he went to link a new account. And sure enough, it deleted the old account. And when it deleted that old account, it deleted all his contacts with it. So, luckily for him, he did have he and, he, he did have some kind of backup situation in place with that, um, where he was able to retrieve most of his contacts. But you know, some of them were just gone. Ended up he ended up losing forever. They were just gone forever. So, what I've started to do is I on my I have a board, I have a Kanban board, I have my little can board out there. I have a recurring task, you know, it sounds lame, but every six months I just do like a backup for everything. And I, and some people may do like once a month, some people may do all the time, but it's like every six months I want to export everything and upload it somewhere that is not my phone. So that way when I restore, I'm not SOL coming from zero basically. Yeah. And what, what you want to be not in the situation of is, is having that, Oh, there's got to be backup somewhere. I'm sure. Hopefully, maybe. Terrible situation to be in. Yeah, terrible situation. So, what can we do to provide some of that surety? Well, first, first we kind of have to go through. You know, what is on this thing? Like, what, what do we, what do we care about? What do you want um, on it? Right. Yeah. What, what do you have on? There? What do you want on it? Now, a lot of it is cloud services. So a lot of it is, you know, if I, if I'm installing discord on my mobile device i'm i'm installing a client i'm installing a client that talks to a service a software as a service in in the cloud or, or on the web where i don't need to necessarily be concerned about backing it up that's that's something i would log into with credentials and my information is going to be there different kind of security posture what you want to back up from there like if someone were to send you photos to have backed up, uh, but it's not going to be something that you're going to sync from your phone. Uh, what you're what you're going to want to be interested in syncing from your phone is is a couple of things, um, and and Nextcloud actually lays it out really well because they have different applications for different functionality. So Great to start one. with, exactly. So to start with, they have their official Nextcloud application, just branded Nextcloud. Boom, they're done. Uh, that is namely for files and photos. So the, the blurb here is that the official Android application manages files and synchronizes them back to Nextcloud server if it's set up to do so. This also allows for auto-sync of folders and locations on the device. 
so let, let me just let you know how how I use this, right? So uh, there are a couple things that I really only do through my my computer, right? And and uh, image manipulation and touch up is is one of those things. I'm not sure. necessarily installing a full GIMP instance on on my phone to to do touch ups and and uh, editing and cropping and and what have you. So when I'm taking pictures from my camera they got to get transferred onto my computer somehow. And I can do that over the wire, right, if I need to. Uh, the easiest way, though, is, if I'm being honest, just throwing them up into my next cloud instance, and I can download whichever ones I want, right? Okay, so do they sync automatically up from the so mobile that's, app? That's, that's okay. not set up by default, right? Okay. So there's, yeah. there's a couple ways you can set this up. Now, there are tons of files on your Android phone. I don't know if you've ever gone through. Um, I know you even have an iPhone, so you may not have had the ability to yet. But there are a lot of different directories and folders and file structures on, on a phone, right? Nextcloud can walk through all those and determine which ones you want synced, auto-synced up to your Nextcloud instance. Um, now, actually, specifically for photos, that is probably my favorite in, example to go to and, and just say, look, you don't want to lose any of your photos, right? And if you don't have them going anywhere else, then they only live on your phone. And if right. they only live on your phone, you might as well not have them, right? Because the minute that phone gets dropped in the toilet, you're, you're screwed, right? Right. right. So, or get snow on it like we had today for some dumb reason. In the middle of yeah, okay. in the yeah. middle of, of April. So the easiest way is just to auto sync anything that gets put into that directory, which if you take a picture with the camera on your phone, it gets thrown in that directory. So you send that right up to next slide and then you can figure out what to do with it as well. Um, now there's also additional functionality. You got to think about like, do you want stuff uh, removed locally if it's removed on the next cloud client then your next cloud client becomes your hub of file management you're right. like if i want to archive all my files and and free up some disk space on my phone because over you time can. yeah you can you can you can right you can so delete it right so, off the phone and then guess what you still have a copy of it exactly exactly so that's that's the easiest way to to manage that i found um, and there, there are, are plenty of other things that I've, I've used to sync up or sync down. Like there are actually, there was a, there was a series that I threw up on my next cloud instance and I just downloaded one video at a time yeah. and I was, I was watching it offline as I was, um, traveling Going through it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't want to use a connection and wait for, wait for the stream to buffer and yada, yada, yada. Let me just, let me just download it. Let me just have it. Right. And that was an easy, easy way to transfer it over to the phone. And, and really that could be throughout any device. And, and that really comes in handy when I start considering my laptop too. Right. Because if I'm recording something on my laptop, right. And I want to send it here, there, or anywhere, I really have two options, right? Either I use an application to talk to someone. So like you, when I'm, when I'm uploading files to element, right, I could, I could throw it there, but if I, you have to use it on literally anything else, right. I need the actual file. Right. right and and right. to do that, the easiest way to, to keep it is, is to throw it in next cloud. Right. So, and, and then my phone also gets access to it. Easy peasy. I mean, it's, that's by default. That's, it's that's a win-win. Right. 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 So that's their official application that manages all of that. The next and and possibly most important, but also most convoluted, is their contacts and calendar, right? So, so the calendar for Nextcloud can be synced down to the native Android calendar by way of the CalDev protocol. The easiest way to do this is by downloading an application to do that, and that's DabX, and use it to log in and sync one or more of your calendars that are in your Nextcloud account. Now, you and I talked about last episode how you keep multiple different calendars all synced up to your Nextcloud account, right? And right. I kind of give yeah. a little little sneak peek of that's how I get everything on here because I can choose which ones I want on my Nextcloud account to sync back to my phone. And then it's it's easy. And, and actually, that's native to the Android phone. So I can use any kind of application. I can use... Uh, any kind of scheduling process or add or remove stuff like I would to any other calendar through my Android device. And, and that just makes it easy. It makes it native. It makes it natural. Um, and then 
you know, in integration done by the developers, like I said, it, it, it works natively with the official Nextcloud application. And that's that's true of context as well. Uh, so you're talking about on your iPhone, and we're going to hit that up in a, in a second here. But, but Android will have that too. And I did link to the instructions on how to work with Nextcloud. And that's actually through the DevX5 site. So that is uh, on the on the show notes page that or on the excuse me on the documentation page uh, that'll lead you right to going through uh, syncing and 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 all those other options really and I don't know if you're someone who likes tinkering with options I I, I I've said before but I like going through and and changing whatever I can and and you know being being the little puppet master uh, figuring out everything I can I can switch. Editing every, any configuration possible. Basically, oh, we know, we know. <laughs> but if you just want to, you just want to set it up and use it. That's that's where you're gonna go, and and uh, you'll be off to the races. And and really, that's just made my life super easy because it it's not only my next hub calendar, it's not only my work calendar, it's also my Camboard calendar, uh, it's it's also my email calendar. It's it's anything I want is right there in front of me. So that makes that makes everything easier. Um, the last one I wanted to touch on was bookmarks. Now, the most frustrating thing to deal with if you don't have one of the major browsers' proprietary bookmark syncing tools is how to share bookmarks between devices. Yeah. Uh, luckily, Nextcloud has a bookmark application that adds this functionality to the base server, and the Android application is available that pairs with it. Right. So I know we haven't gone over third-party applications yet, but this is one of the ones that I use exhausted exhaustively okay. is this flocus is this not flocus is this something different so the browser extension uh for chrome for firefox or gotcha. for whatever is gotcha. flocus yeah gotcha so but the the official application is just called bookmark just called bookmarks okay yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's it's super easy to find and install and i believe i do link to the next cloud application in the documentation um so that's there and the the Android application uh, is as well linked, so that's that's an easy install. Uh, my one gripe with it is that it doesn't show a folder hierarchy like you would assume, like every right. other bookmark manager does, like Nextcloud does, and Flockus does. But like the Android application is just like a flat, like a, here's here is yeah. everything just yeah. a long list. Oh man. I'm like, why? Why would you do that? Like, what? Yeah. What is your design decision that you're like, no, of all the things I'm gonna not implement, it's a folder <laughs> it's structure. Be folders, <laughs> a folder structure. I mean, it's it's easy enough to search if you don't have you know five hundred thousand of them, but still, it's 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 frustrating. Now you can't There's... organize it by tags. Um, oh, so if man. you want to tag all your folders, like that's a way to do it. Not my not my preference though. A lot of a lot of I mean, we've had this discussion before. Searching by tags, searching by hierarchy, you know, organization. It <clears throat> it accomplishes the same kind of, I need to organize it somehow in two distinctly different ways. Right. Uh, with two distinctly different philosophies on w- how how should organization be handled, all right? And and they've gone the tag route. And I'm like, all right, that's fine. I'm just going to, I'm I'm not going to use that. I was wondering, Jack, what's your experience been with any of the iPhone uh, applications? I have the official contacts and calendar is just, uh, I don't know if you've, I don't know how it is on the Android phone, but contacts and calendar is basically syncing via CalDev, which I did. So I can get the calendar. No problem. Calendar is easy to sync. Now the card dev I have, you can sync it with Nextcloud, and I haven't done it yet. All my, unfortunately for me, all my contacts Mm -hmm. are linked back to an outlook account. So what I had to do, so I had X, so I have to go into Outlook, and Outlook makes it. Who would have thought they make it difficult to get off of, right? So you can ex you can export everything from Outlook, but it's in a CSV. So you have to go out. You got to get pretty techy with this one. You have to go out to GitHub. And there's this project out there that says it's like a CSV to Cal Dev or Card Dev. Yeah, and Card, card, card Dev count yeah. is contacts Card Dev. So you have to go out to GitHub. You have to. Da- grab this project and it's CSV to card dev. And you basically take, you have to link, you know, which row goes to which item in card dev. Um, kind of a PETA, you know, you know, kind of a huge pain, but um, it's doable. I'm not going to sit here and say it's not doable. 
Now, bookmarks, I have not seen an app for that. I have not messed with that one at all. Um, the official app's fine. It, you know, it's like it, it's the official application for Nextcloud. It feels like, you know, it's a mobile version of what's kind of already out there. Now, the one thing I do like is being able to download files and have them locally, kind of how you mentioned earlier. For, I guess, series or any kind of MP4, you can download it and have it on the go instead of using data and going directly back to your Nextcloud site. Yeah, I linked to the bookmark application page in iOS and I'm actually going to change that because I thought I'd link to their next bookmark, which is their iOS application for bookmarks. So it does exist. It is on the app store um, and, and available. And like we said, I mean, we haven't gone over third party applications yet. This is the kind of stuff that we're going to be diving into pretty heavily. Once, once we get into that, that realm of what can you really eke out of a next cloud instance and, and this is this is just a taste of, the, of it, you know. And this this little functionality that I found indispensable in my day to day life. I mean, that's this is just how I use it. Yeah, I didn't even know that uh, next bookmark application was out there. So I'm glad you did mention it. I was like, there's got to be, there's got to be one. How can you not have? So yeah, I was I was happy to find it at least. Uh, but that's really all I wanted to go over with with mobile. Um, now there's there's a lot more to it once you start diving into. How do I get it set up? What preferences do I want to use, right? And if that's your concern, right, the the thing you're going to want to do is have a sit down with us. And then we can say, hey, look, this is, this is the options you have, right? Especially if you have concern about keeping your contacts backed up or making sure that your photos are always available, yeah. right? Um, if, if, if stuff like that is concerning you, then we sit down and we say, all right, here's, here's your step-by-step to get you set up and ready to go with your new next cloud instance from our compose. So that makes it, that makes it easy. Uh, and then we can do that. Um, we actually offer, uh, one consultation, right. With, with any given instance. So once, once we kick that off, right, then we can, then we can offer other ones, uh, as well. And, and we can, we can go through that with you. Uh, we can we can walk you through that process. Yeah, but I think that first step is reaching out. Absolutely. So, I'd highly recommend it. Yeah, we're happy to walk through this stuff, and we do love this stuff. I think. I mean, I'm already talking about so. it, so I, I, you're not stealing anything away from me, asking me to talk about it more. So that's that's fine. But.